Greetings, Teaching Tigers. I just wanted to take a moment and explain to you our Read Me Week events that are coming up. They will be held February the 29th through March the 4th. Our theme for this year is March into Reading. So we're just taking the time to um, celebrate reading and vocabulary and book character. So this week we really want you to enforce the power of reading. So I want to go over each event just so you can have um, clarity on what's going on. Just so you know, I'll also be passing out or sending home with students um, parent forms that parents can put on their refrigerator and they'll know what's going on. So the form that you've already received is broken down into the explanation, what, what it's about, and then your task. So I'll highlight some of those things, and if you have any questions, please reach out. One of the big things to note here is that we'll have deer time, drop everything and read every afternoon from 2.35 to 2.45. Special teachers, I know that interferes with your dismissal, so I'll talk to you all and see um, best plans for that. So every day at 2.35, if you either read aloud to the students or let the students read um, a book independently. So Monday is hats off to reading. That just means students can wear any hat. Um, you do have discretion in the appropriateness of everything that we do this week. So please make sure you inform, uh, tell the students to make sure that it's appropriate and that they may be asked to take it off if you don't, um, if it's causing a distraction. Tuesday, again, is T-shirt Tuesday. The students can wear any um, T-shirt that's appropriate. And Dr. Ha has given permission where they don't have to wear standard school attire under it, um, but they can. So they can just wear any reading shirt. Wednesday is Wacky Sock Wednesday. So the students just wear their socks, their wacky socks. And Wednesday is when we have our guest readers in. I'm very excited about that day. Um, as things get closer, I'll let you know. Like the schedule of events, we are going to be, we are, our goal is to be done no later than 845 on that day. Some classes may combine, but we may have enough readers for everyone to have a reader. Um, more information about that to come. Thursday is the day that um, you would probably, I ask your help to prepare for that. Maybe starting on Tuesday. Thursday is just Tongue Twister Thursday. And what I'm asking is that because Dr. Seuss, of course, has lots of tongue twisters, uh, K through 2, if you would just read aloud maybe a tongue twister to the kids um, and during deer time, let them practice with that. Third and fourth, uh, starting Tuesday, maybe you can explain the concept of what a tongue twister is and then let them share that during their deer time. And of course, that can be something that uh, you put for homework. And then Friday, I'm so excited as our vocabulary and or book character parade. A lot of the things that go out are going to be, it'll seem like it's focused on the vocabulary part. That's just because I think students understand the concept of dressing up as a book character, whereas the vocabulary parade may be a little different. Key note here is that this will begin right after announcements. Again, I'll give you more information as it comes, but I would um, ask that now you all talk amongst yourself and have at least one teacher who's that grade level representative who will walk along with your entire grade during that parade. Now, on Friday, again, it's the vocabulary parade and or the book character parade. Here, if you click on these links, you will see, and it might also actually send you the links um, as a backup. Uh, Pre-K through two, if you would show this video here, and it just shows another school actually doing a vocabulary parade and what that looks like. Third and fourth grade, um, this book, Miscellaneous Vocabulary Disaster, this is a read aloud. It probably is about a 10 minute story, but sometime before um, the week of the 29th, you would share, or maybe starting at Monday, if you would share this with the students and let them be creative and thinking about their words. Again, they do not have to do the vocabulary parade. They can choose to do the book character. It's um, their discretion, and that will be seen in the notes. So I'm looking forward to a great, great Read Me Week. Um, you will get lots more information as the week comes. Thank you.